In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Today we celebrate Harvest Thanksgiving. We give thanks to God for all his gifts to us. And as we do so, we remember that we are less than perfect, and we come to this altar with ourselves, warts and all. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments, and to live in love and peace with all. We have not always worshipped you, God our Father, our Creator. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We have not always followed you, Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. We have not always trusted in you, Holy Spirit, our guide and comforter. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the highest, and, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we, we worship, worship you, we give you thanks, thanks. we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only, only Son of the Father, Lord God, God Lamb of God, God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal God, you crown the year with your goodness, and you give us the fruits of the earth in their season. Grant that we may use them to your glory for the relief of those in need and for our own well-being. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the prophet Joel. O soil, do not be afraid. Be glad, rejoice, for the Lord has done great things. Beasts of the field, do not be afraid. The pastures of the heath are green again. The trees bear fruit, vine and fig tree yield abundantly. Sons of Zion, be glad, rejoice in the Lord your God, the, for he has given you the autumn rain since he is just, the autumn and spring rain as before. The threshing floors will be full of grain, the vats overflow with wine and oil. You will eat to your heart's content, you will eat your fill and praise the name of the Lord your God who has treated you so wonderfully. My people will not be disappointed anymore. And you, you will know that I am in the midst of Israel, that I am the Lord, your God, with none to equal me. My people will not be disappointed anymore. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The earth has yielded its fruit, for God our God has blessed us. The, the earth, earth has, has yielded, yielded its, its fruit, fruit. For God, God our God, God has blessed us. O oh God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. The, the earth has, has yielded, yielded its fruit, fruit for, for God, God our, our God, God has blessed, blessed us. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples, you guide the nations on earth. The, the earth has, has yielded, yielded its fruit, fruit for God, God our God, God has blessed us. us. The earth has yielded its fruit, for God our God has blessed us. May God give us still his blessing, till the ends of the earth revere him. The, the earth has yielded its fruit, for God, God our God, God has, has blessed, blessed us. us. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. Alleluia. alleluia.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, Watch and be on your guard against avarice of any kind. For a man's life is not made secure by what he owns, even when he has more than he needs. Then he told them a parable. There was once a rich man who, having had a good harvest from his land, thought to himself, What am I to do? I have not enough room to store my crops. Then he said, This is what I will do. I will pull down my barns and build bigger ones and store all my grain and my goods in them. And I will say to my soul, My soul, you have plenty of good things laid by for many years to come. Take things easy, eat, drink, and have a good time. But God said to him, Fool, this very night the demand will be made for your soul, and this hoard of yours, whose will it be then? So it is when a man stores up treasure for himself, in place of making himself rich, in the sight of God. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In today's Gospel, the landowner, the farmer, enjoys a bumper crop. His harvest is huge. He tells himself what a clever chap he is, to have achieved such a wonderful result. And his response isn't to thank God for it. His response is to build bigger barns to store it in so that he can enjoy it. Notice here, he's hoarding so that he can enjoy the harvest. We could, of course, pick away at the story and remind ourselves that growing food to store is something done all the time. Huge warehouses exist to distribute food across the nation and across the world. But that's not the point of the story. Watch and be on your guard against avarice of any kind, says the Lord. For a man's life is not secure by what he owns, even when he has more than he needs. Jesus is talking about how we live, how we jealously guard what we have, how we accumulate stuff, things, as individuals and as a wider society. The British, it has to be said, are generally really good at giving to charity. But we must always ask whether we can do more. In the Gospel passage, the farmer, successful though he is at farming, dies. His life is demanded of him, is how Jesus puts it. Ultimately, Jesus' point here is to be thankful for what we have and be generous with it. Hoarding to ourselves everything God provides in this case, the bumper harvest of the farmer in the story is not the way to live. We have much to be grateful for, and we should and must remember this today of all days, when we give thanks for the harvest. This, by the way, isn't folk religion. We could run away that the idea that harvest is only about farmers living off the land, fluffy animals, wheat, crops and so on. Bucolic country life, really. Nothing could be further from our thinking, in my view. None of us here are farmers. Most of us do not make a living from growing stuff on the land. Most of us will get our food from the Ocado van, or the Tesco van, or the Sainsbury's van, which comes to our front door, or from Morrison's over the way. And that's fine, and we should and must give thanks for all the abundance of the land, which comes direct to us in 21st century Britain. But we should also give thanks for everything else we have and are. It all comes from God. The things we have been able to gather and earn indeed during our lives all ultimately come from the talents and time and energy God provides to us. Today I think we need to give thanks for everything. As the hymn goes, We thank thee then, O Father, for all things bright and good the seed time and the harvest, our life, our health, our food. Here, food comes third, after our life and our health. 
Our very lives come from God. All he gives us, everything we have, everything we are. As the hymn continues, all good gifts around us are sent from heaven above. So thank the Lord. Oh, thank the Lord for all his love. Today is in the end about the providence of God, the fact that he provides for us. Sometimes our health isn't perfect. Sometimes it's far from it. Sometimes we may think we need the one thing we don't have. Sometimes what we have isn't maybe what we want. But God provides his bounty to us in all sorts of ways. Our life, our health, our food. And at the end of the great harvest hymn, we thank him for all his love. Let's never forget, God loved us so much that he sent us his son to die upon the cross for us, to save us from the power and tyranny of death and sin. That's how much he loves us. We give thanks week by week for the Lord's sacrifice on the cross in the Eucharist, which word itself means thanksgiving, of course. The central act of our faith is to give thanks for the Lord, whose life is given away for the sins of the world because of God's love. So today of all days, this Sunday of all Sundays, let us thank the Lord, yes, thank the Lord for all his love. We now declare our belief in the words of the Creed. We, we believe, believe in, in one God, God the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we remain before the altar of the Lord, let us bring to God our Father all that is on our hearts and in our minds at this time as we pray. At Harvest Festival, we think especially about the wonderful world around us. In the present COVID situation, maybe we are even more aware of the seasons and the passing of time. We thank you for such beauty and pray that we can become better guardians of it. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all religious leaders around the world, and we pray for religious tolerance. We give, we give thanks that we are still able to gather together inside church and pray that this continues. We also give thanks for modern technology and to those who can use it. It enables our vicar to send this service out to those who cannot come to church. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for governments throughout the world. Help them to make decisions for the good of their people. We pray for our Queen and for, gov for the government of this country. Guide our Prime Minister and his ministers and advisers. Give them wisdom and courage as they continue to face difficult decisions. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. 
We pray for those parts of the world suffering from natural or man-made disasters. We think of people suffering from the wildfires in the States and the people of Lebanon trying to recover after the explosion in Beirut. We give thanks for all the emergency services throughout the world and also for the humanitarian agencies trying to help. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. We give thanks for everyone in the NHS and for all the researchers working to find a vaccine against COVID-19. We pray for all those suffering from COVID-19 or living in fear of it. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for everyone on our regular prayer list and for those who are housebound or living with long-term illness. We pray for everyone living in care homes and for all the staff there. We pray too for all those people whose operations or treatment have been delayed. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have died recently. Comfort their families and friends with the knowledge of your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bless this parish and all who live and work in it. We pray for all those people worried about their jobs. We pray for all the children of the parish now that they are back at school. We pray too for our local food bank, which this year, because of COVID, we are supporting at Harvest Festival with donations of money rather than with food. We pray for our vicar, Father David, and his family, and give thanks that we can now see him in church as well as through this recorded service. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. Almighty God, by your Holy Spirit, you have made us one with your saints in heaven and on earth. Grant that in our earthly pilgrimage we may ever be supported by this fellowship of love and prayer and know ourselves surrounded by their witness to your power and mercy. Merciful Father, accept, accept these, these prayers, prayers for, for the, the sake, sake of, of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Peace be with you. Blessed to you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer which earth has given and human hands have made. It'll become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of the from one, we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed to you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It'll become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this my sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Lord, may the gifts we offer bring us your love and forgiveness and give us freedom to serve you with our lives. We make this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. From sunrise to sunset, this day is holy, for Christ has risen from the tomb and scattered the darkness of death with light that will not fade. This day the risen Lord walks with your gathered people, unfolds for us your word, and makes himself known in the breaking of the bread. And though the night will overtake this day, you summon us to live in endless light, the never-ceasing Sabbath of the Lord. And so, with choirs of angels and with all the heavenly hosts, we proclaim your glory and join their unending song of praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of power and, and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory. We celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, the apostles, the martyrs, and Selma and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us now pray with confidence in the words our Saviour gave us. Our, our Father, Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, 
you take, take away, away the sin of the world, world. Grant, grant us peace. Behold, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, Lord I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Let us pray. Lord of the harvest, with joy we have offered thanksgiving for your love in creation and have shared in the bread and wine of the kingdom. By your grace, plant within us a reverence for all that you give us and make us generous and wise stewards of the good things we enjoy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, we, we thank, thank you for, for feeding us with, with the body and blood, blood of your Son, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you now and always. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.